cheaper. Tomatoes are cheaper. Now's the time to fall in love. Why, the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker all gave their price a downward shove. Boom, grab yourself someone to fry your eggs and bacon. Why, she can live just like a queen on what you're making. Cause this and that's a lot cheaper, and they flax a lot cheaper. So, honey, now's the time to fall in love. Hello, I'm Phil Parmesan. Welcome to Couch Potato Theater. I know this isn't a couch, so don't send me any letters. I upgraded to the Fat Man 5000 recliner, and I ain't going back. Look at this. Now I know what my drink is, even when the lights are dimmed. <sighs> Pretty nice, huh? Today's golden nugget has been a favorite of mine since I was a little kid. It's the 1953 sci-fi cult classic, Invaders from Mars, starring Helena Carter, Arthur Franz, and Jimmy Hunt as a kid who finds it difficult to get anyone to believe that he saw a flying saucer crash near his house, or that people are getting pulled underground by aliens and are returning different. This is the first film to show aliens and their spaceships in color. That's not necessarily a good thing. You don't have to look too closely to see the zippers on the aliens' costumes. And those costumes were made by Norma. I suppose if I made Martian costumes with zippers in the back, I'd neglect to tell people my last name too. If you're a fan of classic TV shows, you're gonna see some familiar faces in this movie. First is David's mother, played by Hilary Brooke. Although she appeared in several movies, she may be best remembered from the Abbott and Costello show. Dr. Kelson's secretary is Barbara Billingsley, who played June Cleaver on Leave it to Beaver. Finally, Captain Roth, the expert on electronics, is Milburn Stone, who played Doc Adams on Gunsmoke for 20 years. Another nice thing about the Fat Man 5000 is that it has this nifty tray where you can set your snacks. Before we get started with the movie, let me remind you of this important fact. This is a streaming service. That means at any point in time, you can pause the movie, go to the kitchen, get yourself a drink, pop some corn, open a bag of chips, order yourself a meatball sandwich. Hey, I don't judge. Once you're ready, hit the play button, turn down the lights, and enjoy. Stick around after the movie for a little bit more information about the film. Here's 1953's Invaders from Mars. So, I paused the movie a few times. Jimmy Hunt, who played David in the movie, had already been in several movies before this one. He played William Gilbreth, 
one of the 12 Gilbert children in the 1950 movie Cheaper by the Dozen, starring Clifton Webb and Moyna Loy. He also appeared in the 1952 sequel Bells on Their Toes, but that time he showed up as Fred Gilbreth. Go figure. One of his last roles, though, was in the 1986 remake of Invaders from Mars, where he played the police chief. The head Martian, you know, mankind developed to its ultimate intelligence, was actually played by a woman. Luce Potter had been a munchkin in The Wizard of Oz, and she also appeared in The Incredible Shrinking Man. The prop of the ultimate intelligence that was carried around by the mutants also made a cameo appearance in the 1986 remake. Naturally, it was Jimmy Hunt who pointed it out with his flashlight. Speaking of the mutants, the really tall mutant that carried David through the underground tunnels was played by Locke Martin. He was seven foot four inches tall and played another famous alien, Gort, from the 1951 sci-fi classic, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Klaatu Barata Nikto. By the way, if you want to make your own alien special effect, you can do what the special effects department did in this movie. Just record sucking some sand down a hole using a vacuum and then play it in reverse. Of course, it won't be as creepy as it was in this movie unless you add an eight man, eight woman choral group chanting weird music like they did here. You can do another special effect even more easily. The special effect of the alien ray gun melting the tunnel was done by adding red food dye to bubbling oatmeal. Well, I gotta be going. I decided there's some other business I really need to take care of. But come back real soon and join me, Phil Parmesan, in another nostalgic nugget next time on Couch Potato Theater.